Hey everyone. Hey, I just wanted to let everyone know that I'm doing well for people who may or may not know I did have um, retinal detachment surgery in my left eye. I went to the doctor on Monday. Like the previous week I had um, some flashes of light and also like a lot of floaters in my left eye. And then one day I just couldn't see out of half of the viewing of my left eye. So I set an appointment with my, you know, regular eye doctor thinking I just needed um, a higher prescription of glasses. Um, but then I couldn't see it out of my left eye. So I decided to find whoever was going to take me for an emergency or for a walk-in. So Monday I woke up and I called around. I was able to go to the, the eye center at the Southern College of Optometry here in Memphis, and they were able to get me in at like 8.30 or 9 o'clock that morning on Monday. So I went through the whole process of them dilating my eye and see what's going on, and I did find that my left eye retina detached, was detached, um, meaning that the retina came from, was detached from the back of my eye. Um, and then there were several holes and tears in my left eye and also holes, at least seven that they could count holes in my right eye and several tears in my right eye. So they said that uh, I would have to have emergency eye surgery. So they sent me to the Charles Retina Center, uh, which specializes in like eye diseases and that type of uh, retina detachment surgery. So I got there about noon on Monday, went through hours of testing and pictures of my eye and the back of my eye. And then they scheduled me for emergency eye surgery on Tuesday about one o'clock. So uh, they sent me to Hamilton Surgery Center in downtown Memphis um, at about one o'clock, got there to be seen by Dr. Charles, which is a renowned sought after eye surgeon, um, who has many books and lectures and he is the, probably the number one eye surgery in the country. Um, so I knew I was under the hands of the best um, eye surgery doctor in, in the area. So one o'clock, I got there and then two o'clock that was taken back. And then I waited from two o'clock to 4.30 to get to the operating room. And then uh, they put me under like twilight um, sedation where I was alert, but was not moving. And then... Um, they gave me Provoval uh, in order to, I guess, knock me out later because I did feel a little prickly towards the end of the surgery. What? Um, so I finally was on my way home about 6 o'clock on Tuesday. Um, Wednesday, they had the eye patch over my left eye. And uh, Wednesday morning, I had to go back to the retina eye center so the doctor attending doctor could see if everything went well with the surgery and the doctor said that the retina hat was now attached to the back of the eye and both the um, surgery and the laser surgery for both eyes went well they did the type of procedure that they did for my left eye was they added a heavy solution or heavy liquid called uh, PFO or PFC, uh, perfluoride, perfluorocarbon, which is a heavy solution. Well, I have to uh, sleep 
only on my back or on my left side and uh, I can't bend over uh, no moving forward no heavy lifting anything uh, for the next two weeks and then then two weeks from now I will have to go back in for surgery so they can take the heavy fluid out of my eye so right now I cannot uh, see out of my left eye it's completely blurred um, and then my right eye is, is getting better every day to where it just looked like I have the wrong prescription of glasses on my right eye so it's getting better but um, just taking the eye drops four to six times a day and then waiting for my prescription to come in for a steroid for my left eye so I'm just trying to take it easy and not look look at things and um, make sure that I'm resting my eyes because it, it still is a strain on my right eye to try to see things so I just want to say thank you to everyone who helped and called and took me to my appointments, um, my mom and my close friends, um, Shante and Carolyn and Sh Shawanda, who all called and checked on me and Connie and my family who called and, and checked on me and, and my son and my daughter who helped out. So very appreciative because as you all know, I'm very self-sufficient. I do everything on my own and I'm the person that everyone calls to, to help out other people. So I'm not used to any help. Um, and I know that trying to figure out just to sit down or lay down and let someone else help is a big issue for me because I see a lot of stuff that needs to be done that I can't get to and because I'm trying to get take it easy on my my eyes so I can get back to work and you know that you know my eyes are my money maker and that's how I make my money uh, looking at the computer all day and and uh, all of that so I just wanted to make this video to, um, I don't know, say thank you and to whoever may need that, you know, eye health is, is very important and that I've always been wearing glasses, probably been wearing glasses since I was uh, in the first grade and then, you know, just every year just going to uh, see the eye doctor for new glasses or new contacts and just was told that the back of my eye had the membrane has always been thin and could have um you know could have holes or could develop tears over the years and uh, so that's that's just what happened so oh being um, very nearsighted, so very nearsighted people are more prone to having these tears and holes in the back of their eye to where the retina, um, will become detached. And they did the laser surgery in my right eye to correct those holes and, and tears. So the same thing doesn't happen in my right eye that it did in my left eye um just making sure that we heed the signs of floaters and flashes of light or anything that has to do with with your eye health um and just make it a priority to go see the doctor go see the eye doctor anything that's out of the norm and out of the the regular just to just get it checked out and be safe and sorry. So that's all I did learn a lot about uh, retina detachment and the surgery and the type of procedures um, that come with it. 
Uh, but all in all, the doctor said that it was very successful. And the only thing would be with these type of surgeries, I am now prone to um, cataracts and and that if cataracts are will come over my eyes, then that will be another surgery. But after that surgery, then my eyes should improve um, from vision or whatever. So that's just just that. Just be conscious of just eye health and seeing your doctor regularly and seeing a. a ophthalmologist if there's something more than what your local optometrist which is like America's Best or Target Optical would provide you and just go to an eye doctor um, the ophthalmologist who can be more in depth than just giving you glasses or contacts so be blessed and you only get one set of eyes, so keep those, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.